Yo, back at it again with another Phil's Patriots episode here on the Ball Central channel. Hey, week 17, after this, our last regular season game, and then on to the playoffs. So this, this series is coming to a close soon. And hey, it's been a hell of a journey. We lost three times after going on undefeated streak for like, what, 10 plus games? So we got a division, we got two division opponents to end the year, Dolphins and Bills. And first one up is the Dolphins, so hey, let's get right into it. Let's get this. Surprisingly, the Dolphins are 7 and 8 in this game. So, oof. There's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. Fielded just outside the goal line. Ooh. And he'll take hey. it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here is two attempted by Loa heading out to lead this Miami Let's go. offense. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll get about six up to He's the on the Dolphins? What the hell? The numbers on the ground for Hunt a week ago. Pretty good as he found himself in the end. What the hell are you doing them? And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Oh my lord. Absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. Yeah, he made us miss Wolf. Dolphins first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. They'll run again with Hunt. Take yep, there you go. The 42. Well, these two teams, you might remember, got in Foxborough earlier in the season with the Patriots winning that ball game. So they're trying to win here in Foxborough to capture the season series. A run for the first time with Miles nope. Gaskin. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Damn. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 38-yard line. A third down gain of 19. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Tua sets up to pass it. Wilson's got the play. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. They'll run with Hunt on second down. Damn, come on. Down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Play action, now it's Tua. Watch the pick. Woo, give me that. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats are going to get possession here as they finish. Tremendous pick, let's go. What a pick. And sometimes when you play a team that has that reputation, it's earned it by their play. The psychology is, okay, they're number one. They have to prove it to us, and they tried to attack. They found out that that ranking was real. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them awfully well, too. Jones in the Pats now with a first and ten from back at their own ten-yard line. The drive oh Lord! Carry by Stevenson, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Throwing Jones. Oh Lord! As square open, wide open. Back in his own seven. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, got me. Johnny. Thank you. Past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. Now Jones. Thank you. Let's go, DJ. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
From the 41, Jones. Got it. Thank you. Let's go, DJ. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. A very solid gain of 27. No score after one on EA Sports. Let's see. Uh, let's go here. Foxborough. It's the home standing Patriots with the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll get this just inside the 30 yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run with a four. Oh, we out. The Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins 24. It's a five yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Okay, ah, uh, bang. First down. Thank you. He will have a Patriots first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Up the middle, here's Oh, yeah, let's go. First, at least. Oh, okay. That's fine. pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh Lord. Second down, this is Harris. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and Probably two. Probably not the best move. I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. There you go. First down. Henry's got it. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on 32. Looking to throw. Jones. Got it. Touchdown, Patriots. Thank you. Connor Henry. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Patriots go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Full connects on the extra point. And it's now a 7 nothing game. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of run read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Big Benogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Got him. Easy. Coming in. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. After the sack, it's second and 19. And the road gets a bit tougher from here. Oh, great breakup. Great breakup. Great play. Yep. Damn. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the Patriots take over. The offense of QB Matt Jones running back out. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds right. me a lot when I watch the best quarterbacks throw seven on six, Yikes. or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Oh. Nine. 
Jones. Oh, good catch. In the middle, he's got Myers. So they'll get eight out of that completion. They have two yards to go on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Oh. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. Mm. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. We got this. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. We always talk about big time players make big time plays in big time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. Oh. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. And it oh, pass interference. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Yep, there you go. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 19. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, come on. In the middle of the field and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone. Oh. Pressure and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. <laughs> Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Oh, why didn't I see that? Under pressure, they got him again. Nope, field goal. Oh, whoop. Come on. There we go. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the yeah, first field goal. half. So three seconds here remain in the half on it's the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Ah, I don't think that's good. Nope. Yeah. Just wide of I saw the win thing last second. No All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and Ooh. ready to rock for the third quarter. Let's go. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Well, the Patriots take it over to start quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going there a little go. bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Off play action, Jones. Kobe. It's Jacoby Myers, he's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, oh, got him. it's awfully hard for them to pivot. Let's go. And you end up getting the first down. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And he takes a Damn. shot on the release as this will be incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open yep, first down. And he will have a Patriots first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. They'll look to throw again. Got it. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Oh, we out. Good run. He is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained like, runs, taking their time, and making it. Oh, he dropped it, damn. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. That's complete. Got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, Lord. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Third quarter action here in this regular season finale. This will be second and ten. Woo! Zone, but that one's gonna wind up incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against the extend their lead. And oh, yeah. he clanks it off the right upright, Oof. and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh my lord. And it's picked up by the Patriots. Oh my lord. That guy got boomed. That guy got boom sticked. It's like a big one two punch that may lead to a knockout. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. And boy, things switched on a dime here. The fumble recovery for the touchdown and also a two point try on top successful. That feels like a momentum call. Pick it up on a fumble return, take it the other way for a touchdown. That's demoralizing for a team to have it happen against them. So the offense just says, you know something? Let's add to it. Pile on top, go for two now while their heads are down. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now that oh, Lord, he's wide open. This situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. It's a big play there for Miami. 46 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Ooh. Not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. We have played three quarters. Back now in Foxborough. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You get Ooh. a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. You're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That Ooh. was his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. Hunt. Fighting, yep. but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Here's Tonga by low to throw. Oh! He's got it. <laughs> Touchdown, Dolphins. Damn. Tyreek Hill, a two-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Dolphins are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one fielded at the five. Oh. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. So the Patriots coming out now. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll Ooh. be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. This offense so far on third down, they've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This is third and seven. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Critical play in this football game. If they How do you the miss that? Keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock. Got it. Oh. Intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins. Well, that might have been a mistake. Back in this football game. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. To his throw here, going to be caught by Wilson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From just shy of midfield, to throw left side, complete. That's Hunt. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first oh. down. Looking to pass to him. Yep, got him. Oh, my lord. And Tua is going to be taken down. More than one defender there. And that's a loss of five on the sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Throwing now is Tug of I Lord. Over the middle. Got him. That's Wilson. And he'll be brought down inside the 40 yard line. Right where this set of down started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He oh, Lord. This one fly toward the back of the end zone. <gasps> and this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Kyle Thank you. who picks it, and the Patriots are going to take possession. Well, ball game. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On third down, here's Harris. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward to get what he can. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Throwing Jones. Yeah, that one's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. I don't give a damn. Just ask if they're defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections, they want the knockaways. 
Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and get it to incomplete. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Oh, I could have been a pick. That was a pick. That was a pick. They work again from the 38 on second and ten. Here's Tua. Ooh. And down he goes. To Sean Gibson. Back right around the 41 yard line. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Got him. Do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. So this will wind up a nice little W for us. Ooh. Upgrade, Kyle Duggar. Okay. Uh, let's see, playoff picture. We got it right there. Okay. The Panthers. Wow. Okay. This has been another episode of Phil's Patriots. We got the regular season finale coming up next. We face the Buffalo Bills. So with that being said, I think I think if we beat them before, right? I think we have, we have, it's a must-win game. Winner gets the first seed. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in. Like and comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, put on the notifications so we know we upload. With that being said, we'll see you next time on Baller Central. Yeah.